So Bongi, you are up. What would you like from Jesus? Hi, Pastor Peggy. Good to see you. Good to see you too. I just want to share the testimony that I, um, during the last um, June meeting, um, the Holy Spirit was very kind and patient with me and to me. And during the last Zoom meeting, um, you know, my son, Sean, mm -hmm. remember, and I've been praying for asking Shawnee come to a Zoom meeting, be part of it. And the last time he came <clears throat> and during the whole time he fell asleep because he was working during the weekday. And then you kept asking, there's a newcomer, newcomer. And I said to <clears throat> my son, Sean, raise your hand, raise your hand. But I didn't know he was sleeping. But end of the last person, you call his name, Sean, and I'm like, thank God, thank God, Holy Spirit woke him up. And, and you pray, um, you actually ask for Sean, you have, uh, pray for others, and you pray with him also. That, that was so sweet of the Holy Spirit. And I mean, the Holy Spirit touched him, wanted him yeah. to pray for people. How did that affect oh, his life? Oh, he was so um, um, surprised you asked uh, him to pray for every those, those person who are in the world lost and anxious all the the generation and he was so touched by that God. so praise mm -hmm. god thank you for your testimony just praying in my heart holy spirit locate me so jesus praise the lord yes. pastor peggy one after one is a battle they find out uh, infection in my tummy and uh, they give me 14 days um, medication. I finish all the bottle, but the pain is sometimes still there. But I always said, I don't accept you in my body. And uh, please, I know Jesus is ready to heal me. Just receive fire in the belly, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Anything that comes against the word of God. Jesus is Lord. Amen. Amen. I don't know why it's leaving your eye, but it's coming out your eye. The infection is leaving your eye. Thank you, Jesus. Fire in the fluids, Lord. Everywhere that this entered. Huh. Thank you, Lord. What do you feel going on right now, Maria? Oh, thank God. I haven't told you about my eyes. Okay, because it's all around your eye and it's all around your head in that area. Just receive. Yeah. Thank you, Father. Holy Thank Spirit you. knows us intimately. What do you feel happening? I am just feeling warm sensation in my eyes. It's Jesus. My... It's the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Kenneth, put your hand, your right hand on her belly. Say, come out of her infection. Come out of her infection. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I want you out now in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. Yep. Take your angry self out now. Amen. Her belly is moving up and down. Yeah, I see it. Praise you, Jesus. Yep, you're good. You can let her go. Thank you, Lord. Thank Healed. You, Lord. Saved. Delivered, redeemed. What do you feel now, Kenneth? She, she, I feel she, she's free and her <laughs> moving up and down before when you prayed and now this is it's not, out. yeah, this is out. What do you want to say to Jesus, Maria? I want to say I love you, Father. I know from the beginning, from the morning I was praying today is my day. I will get healed and he healed me. Thank you, Father. I thank God for Peggy life, his ministry, his health, everything. I'm praying for you, Pastor Peggy. Oh, thank you. I need all the prayer I can get. Believe me. What was Amen. the problem with your eyes? Yesterday when I was in the um, market, I couldn't see. I didn't tell them they were walking with me and I was telling them, let's go home. I was feeling so tired in my eyes and I was, I don't want uh, fear inter me what's happening, but I was keep saying, Lord, have your way. Have your way. Lord, take more of me. Give me more of you. I was keep saying that. And uh, thank you, Jesus. He heard my prayer. Hey, Maria, you're smiling. Yes, I am happy. Oh, glory to God. Um, I want to say thank you for all your prayers because I've noticed Angelina has been feeling more happier 
and we all have seen changes in our lives. More Praise people, Jesus. Our granddad. Okay. Uh, prospering. prospering. Okay, gotcha. You ready? Let's yeah. go. You believe? Yes. Fire. Fire, Lord, in Jesus' name. Fire in everything that comes against the will of my God, in Jesus' name. I come against all deception of the enemy. That's right. I'm talking to you. You are coming out of that little girl right there in the name of Jesus. You have no right in her. Thank you, Father. Chains are breaking right now in Jesus' name. Fire in her belly right now in Jesus' name. You're coming out right now. That's right. In Jesus' name. Wow, your sister's smiling. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you so much, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Father, get the rest of the family. Look at your sister. Jasmine, she's smiling. Yes. First time I've ever seen her smile. Glory yes. to God. Yes. What did ask her what she just felt happen? She felt cool. Uh, the cool wind of grace. Yep. Yes. Hallelujah. She's still smiling. Father, thank you. We come against everything with the prostrate, all swelling out, all disease. You've lost your power. We cancel your assignments on grandpa. Grandpa belongs to you. This family belongs to you. You tabernacle with them, Lord. We thank you for all you have done in this family. Mighty miracles in this family. We give you all the glory. Praise God forevermore. All oh, God bless. What would you like from Jesus? Okay, so I I have been having a, um, a there is an inheritance that has been taking years and years and years. There is always somebody that is wanting not to sell and all that stuff. And now my aunt is the person that has the the power to because we gave her a paper to to sell the thing there for us, and she's taking decisions that um, without asking us. And now she didn't send the receipts after the expenses that we paid, and and now we get, try to call her and she's not answering. So I, I really need to know what's going on, and I need to see this finished without we being robbed because at the moment we don't know really how to trust her the really. woman the woman who has the paperwork what is her name first name Patricia. father release your love into this woman release your wisdom into this woman don't pray yes God. just receive from the holy spirit let him minister to you Heal her soul, take the wounds, take the stress. Father, everywhere that this is not being released to you so that nothing is changing, nothing is happening. Holy Spirit, we give it to you. We put it on the altar of the cross, Lord, in Jesus' name. Father, we ask you to deliver this woman of the torments of the enemy, distracting her. I'm just sensing there's a lot of this going on around her right now. She is very upset, very frustrated. She doesn't know what to do. She can't make everyone happy. The Holy Spirit is letting me hear this woman's prayers. And she needs help. So thank you for interceding for her. Holy Spirit, we ask that you intercede with this woman to take the chaos out, restore peace and justice, minister your love into this woman's heart. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. What do you feel happening, Yeska? Yeah, yeah, I think you were spot spot on because I felt the same thing really. Uh she 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 is kind of bombarded on the mind, and that's why she's not answering because she was Pray afraid. For her. Yeah. If you do contact her, just say I'm praying for you. I know this decision is hard. I'm praying on your behalf for peace to be restored. Yeah. Amen. Hello, Pastor Peggy. So I have a testimony. I I fell on the stairs and hurt my left leg. And then it's healed really fast. My wife prayed and a whole bunch of the pain left. I have a little bit 
left and the kneecap is what hurts off and on the left kneecap but just believing for the rest of the pain for everywhere to go because i'm still a lot of pain still Amen. so let's go you ready yeah holy spirit we release you into this family have your way fire in yuli's belly the holy spirit's moving in you yuli yes father touch michael senior the holy spirit wants me to talk to you michael the holy mm. spirit himself is right inside of you moving right now he forgives you michael he has no condemnation for you he loves you he wants you to let the past go to him right now be healed be healed be healed in the name of jesus be loved be treasured knee be healed in the name of jesus put your hand on that knee yuli what do you got to say to that knee i commend this knee to be healed in jesus name because god will for you to be healed and be free in jesus mighty name amen be healed in the yes. name of jesus yes. move your knee michael it has to crack move yes. your knee up and down yes. I mean, stretch your leg out and in. It's got Thank a crack. You. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Praise you, Holy Spirit. You will be blessed and empowered. Yes. Be blessed and empowered. Yes, Jesus. I receive it. Be yes. blessed and empowered. Oh, yes, Jesus. To minister to the people of God with the Holy Spirit. Oh. Yes. What do you sense happening? Oh, it's uh i cannot explain this is different it's definitely different <laughs> it's not like i can't explain it but they got it you got it all right <laughs> jesus oh jesus, jesus. jesus. thank you for trusting jesus. me exactly Woo. trusting you with his love with his yes. empowerment for people wow the fire yes. is moving yes. left to right right to left in oh you. jesus yes Oh, yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Oh, my Jesus. Yes. For his people. For his people. Yes. He's empowering yes. you for his people. Oh, Jesus. Yes. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Have your way, Lord. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh, oh, it's my. a difference. It's a new. <laughs> it's definitely new. Okay, now there's more. There's a new wind, an icy, oh, cold yes. wind. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Oh. Just receive from the Holy Spirit. Oh. He's empowering you to move oh. and trust with him oh. for his people. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Oh, oh, thank you, Lord. Thank, oh, you, Lord. thank you, Lord. We give you all the glory oh. in Jesus' name. What does this feel like? I mean, I don't know if you can. Oh, my Jesus. Oh, my Jesus. Oh, my Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Pastor, like, this is different. This is this, this is, is the like joy of the spirit. <laughs> this is the joy of the spirit. <laughs> even in suffering, even in hard times, you will have this joy. It's an empowerment of the spirit for his people. <laughs> in jesus name get him lord get oh, him. My jesus. oh my thank jesus thank you lord oh set it oh, free oh, my jesus. <laughs> give michael a hug Yuli. give michael a hug <laughs> oh jesus <laughs> overtake it all lord heal him of all condemnation and there is none left lord set him free holy spirit let him experience your love, divine love, in Jesus' mighty name. Well, we'll leave you two with the Lord. Grace, what would you like from Jesus? 
Yeah, well, first, I'd like to thank God for just keeping me and just working things out, even in the midst of difficult circumstances. He never fails. And, you know, I'd like to encourage everyone. Um, sometimes situations occur and sometimes we lose faith, we lose hope, but God is always faithful. He's and always at the faithful. same time, yes. At the same time, I like I have two things I like pray for. Mm -hmm. So I like pray for healing of my right shoulder. It's like I get this pain and like weakness, and so I cannot like lift anything heavy or outstretch my arm too well. The funny thing is that whenever I feel it, I pray and and you know I I rebuke it in the name of Jesus, and and like instantly I feel like the pain is gone, but then it keeps coming back. It keeps coming back. The other thing I would like prayer for is uh, just uh, that God would see me through on the job. It's like I have an overwhelming amount of responsibility, you know, so I would like pray for that, please. Amen. Another another prayer for strength. This is what the Holy Spirit wants to do in us. We have forgotten that he is in us to strengthen us for everything we need. Amen. Just receive. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Take it all from her, Lord. Take all the burdens, Father. This is his gentle peace moving through you. Detach these burdens from her. Beautiful Holy Spirit. Lift your arm up, Yvonne. Be healed in the mighty name of Jesus. Everywhere fear. Everywhere there's fear, there is torment. Jesus paid the price for her to be whole. The Holy Spirit in her is manifesting the works that were done on the cross and the resurrection be healed in the name of jesus christ jesus what do you feel happening right at the top of your shoulder uh, i don't actually feel the pain right now okay but i want you to lift your arm up even more higher what do you feel right at the top of your shoulder the lord is moving right there yeah uh, i don't feel any pain right now amen Amen. Praise God. Okay, that was the easy part. How did, how's the rest of you feel? Do you, did you feel anything leave you like a burden? It's not all spirits. It's not demons. It's us, the stuff we carry. Well, I feel a peace. You know, I feel a peace. Yeah, that's exactly what you needed. We don't talk to him about all of our problems because we forgot he's a person right there with us. But he's your counselor, and you can't go to work without him. At all. Ever. At all. Mm -hmm. Talk to him about everything and watch it just be handled. That's his job. Yes. He wants to take care yes. of us. Amen. Mm -hmm. What do you want to say to the Lord? Oh, thank you, God. And I just want more of him. And I, I thank him. I thank him for the Holy Spirit, who is my companion. He's he's with me all the time, always. Yeah, I just give him glory. Well, we're rejoicing. And I thank him for you, for oh, you, Pastor thank Peggy. You. Thank you. Yes. We're and for glad for your shoulder. Amen. Praise yes. Jesus. So thank good God to see you. Me. Tell your brother I was asking for him. I'm good, Pastor Peggy. Good Praise the you. Lord. Praise the Lord. You have a testimony, need prayer, both? Yes, both. So praise the Lord and thank you for praying for me. Mm -hmm. It's only two, three days and I can see so many changes already in my life. Praise Jesus. What yeah, did you need and, prayer for? Yes. Um, actually, the thing is like I was talking about my husband also. Okay. Like, yeah, because he, uh, we pray for him. He wasn't Amen. there, but you pray for him mm -hmm. because he's, he, he wake up in the nighttime. He shouts so much. He had a bad dreams and stuff like, and he's so loud. So we run to his room in the nighttime and see what happening. 
So my what kids. What changes do you notice? That's yeah. So he, we, I see the notice that he he didn't wake up on the whole night now, since two three days since you start pray for him. I didn't hear any noises from his room now. He sleep whole night. Otherwise, he walk whole night out and in and out and my room and his room and then shouting so much. Wow. With the bad dreams. Wow. Praise God. So he had, so for anybody who doesn't know, it was like yes. night terrors. They were so yes. bad they would wake him up that he would be screaming. And he's yes. an adult man. And every night yes. it was happening. And yes. it's important for our sleep because that's when we heal. So the yes. enemy was really moving on him. Yes. And you came from prayer for yourself, but the Holy Spirit yes, on your husband. And yes. So we had no no night terrors for three nights since we prayed. Yeah, no, no, nothing, nothing. And then he's angry. Like I can see his anger because most, most of the time he's angry, angry, angry. But I can see he's calming down. Jesus. No one yeah, and then he's drinking also. Um he is every day now he's just tried he says okay i really want to quit i'm just trying to quit so like i'm just trying hard so he uh, as soon as he enter he says okay just give me food so i don't go back to the to the alcohol or anything i don't think so i just want to eat and then let it go oh my yeah, like only that. jesus amen yeah so it's it's like it's happening so that's why i'm here for the testimony for him but he wasn't there with me but you pray for him through me hallelujah and, God, and jesus touches him like i really like thank you to you peggy for the prayer and for me also like before like i had a tumor right so the, the doctors are struggling with the thing like this is we don't know what to do so all these medicines I'm taking, it's more than 250 medicine tablets going into my body every month. And I'm spending thousands of dollars for these. It's not free. Like I have to buy them. Mm -hmm. And then like, it's, it's like too much for me now. Like it's a doctor saying like, until this tablet's taking care of you, you are alive. Otherwise, no chance. So I says, okay. So we prayed for you the other day and yes. the yes. Holy Spirit certainly moved in power on you. Do you notice mm -hmm. any difference? I feel no, like I feel um, very energetic. Like I'm, I have more energy now. Before I was feeling so lost. Like even like I have no um, feelings in me. My mind somewhere, my heart somewhere. Like it wasn't collecting like you know so any happiness doesn't give me any happiness like any sadness is like I have no nothing like so but now I feel like I'm attractive to my husband more close. oh my god thank you Jesus before he's beside me I just sit down and I don't talk like okay sitting and I but now I feel like I really want to love him like I want to touch him like okay so that's that's what that's a miracle. This is a miracle. Yes, this is yeah. a serious miracle. So the enemy tormented your husband in the dreams. He would get no sleep. So he would drink alcohol. Yeah. This happens to a lot of people. But Jesus yeah. knew exactly what to do. So he moved through the husband. Things are changing. Doesn't want to drink. But you, you, he restored. He took all those wounds from you. When do you go to the doctors again? It's going to be in June, my Let's next go. appointment. I'm going to pray for you again. Would that be okay? Yes. Let's all pray. Did we hear how many pills she has to take every day? Let's all pray for her. We release your wrath on this tumor, Lord. Be driven out in the name of Jesus. Darkness, get out of her brain scans, too, in Jesus' name. Hurry up. Every tentacle out. Thank you. 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. What do you feel happening? Something like going from here to there in my mind, in my brain. It's like shaking inside my body. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father, for your light moving through this whole area where this tumor was in Jesus' name. Let love be restored, Father, in Jesus' name. The enemy lost. The enemy lost. Praise the Lord. Yes, thank you. You're welcome. Denise, how are you? Uh, yeah, I just wanted to oh, share after you. you prayed for oh, me, the one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, I was attacked severely by the enemy, and I think I had COVID. So once I slowly recovered, I was able to be more intimate with God without really forcing it. Amen. And and genuinely, I just heard the Holy Spirit speak so clearly with his directions, and I just give all glory to God, like truly. Jesus, so, that is a marvelous amen. testimony. Yeah. Marvelous so, um, testimony. Yeah, but I, I have noticed that the more I spend more intimate time with him, we're being really silent. The enemy speaks loud too. Mm. And he's been trying to attack me in my dreams, even when I'm like half asleep. He'll try to make me repeat things that I, I don't want to. And I don't. I, I I'm like the thank thank the Holy Spirit for quickening me to realize that's not him and not the enemy. Amen. So he's been kinda yeah, but well, that was a there, powerful deliverance and yeah. intimacy is restored. You're hearing God's voice clearly. Yeah. So yeah. he always has more. Are you ready? Yep. Just receive. <laughs> Fire. Thank you, Holy Spirit. <clears throat> You're defeated. Get out. <clears throat> Mm -mm. Oh, yes, yes. It's yes. Mm -mm. I know you read the book. Torment. Mm -mm. All the way out. <sighs> Thank you, Lord. Mm -mm. Everyone pray. No. Fire all around her. Let's go, spousey. Yeah, she don't want you. Move. Mm -hmm. Take everything about you. And mm -hmm. fall for that to mm -hmm. the pit in Jesus' name. Hurry up. Fire. Hi, Sarah. Mommy's doing good. <laughs> That's right. Everything you fed her, gave her to drink. Come on out. She don't want you. She is the temple of the living God. <laughs> In Jesus' name. Oh. Good job, Denise. We'll give you all the glory. All ancestral witchcraft, we break you in Jesus' name. You're not coming back in her dreams either. What'd you feel happen? <laughs> just, I just, uh, right when you said something, just the, the enemy just got scared <laughs> like literally got scared exactly 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 fire in her eyes lord anger hello come out of her now in jesus name Jesus. What do you feel? How are you feeling right now? So fire. <laughs> a lot of heat. A lot of heat. Yeah. <laughs> so did the enemy when he ran out your house. Amen. <laughs> Seal all of it, Lord. In Jesus' name. Fill her fresh and anew with you. What do you want to say to the Lord? Thank you, Jesus. Give all glory and praise to him. He's always here for us. Amen. He always has amen. more. You have a very intense call on your life. Keep seeking the Lord. Like Amen. It. Good to Amen. see you. Thank God you. bless you. Thank, Thank you for coming. You have a testimony for Jesus? Yes, I do. Um, my son, uh, you, I, I scheduled the 
a prayer, a private prayer session with, with you, and I was really surprised he did it. That's a big thing, and he did do it. And um, it was some charges that was brought against him that he could. Um, they were saying that he could have faced ten to ninety nine years. And when we went back to court, um, all charges was dismissed. The prosecutor. Not the lawyer, the prosecutor asked the judge to dismiss all the charges. That's something I never seen in my life. Jesus, 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 Jesus. I, he came outside and got on the ground and thank God. How old is how old is EJ? 17. He'll be 18. 17, facing 10 to 99. Yes. And we and that was for the trial. The prosecutor asked the judge to dismiss it. Dismissed. He said um, they had no probable cause. They dismissed it. What do you want? He was like, I can go home. Jesus, Mama. I just want to thank him for saving my child. He did what I couldn't. I can't do. And he, I can't save him, but he did. I couldn't deliver him, but he did. And I want to thank him for that. What would you say to anybody, any parents, their child is facing charges? We never underestimate anything because, you know, our kids have minds of their own. We have to just stay in prayer and Jesus can turn it around. Trust me. You can trust oh him. Oh my God. I am rejoicing. Perfect. I am rejoicing. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you so much. Thank you. Father, bless Jennifer. You even touched the daughter. We never even prayed for her, Lord. Have your way. You spoke a prophetic word to Jennifer. Miracles will continue in her family. And they are continuing. We give you all the glory. Thank you so much for coming to testify. Much Thank love to you, sis. God bless. You. Teaching from last week. I've never heard such a teaching before. And it helped me so tremendously. I cannot even describe. Like, it's changed my life. Um, I didn't understand uh, sight visions uh, and I didn't think I could see because like all the dreams, the fear, everything, but like last two weeks were really, really hard for me. I basically almost gave up. It felt like I gave up, but I know, I know Holy Spirit's there, but um, that's how it felt. But yesterday, having that teaching in my heart during worship time like my parents told us like okay well I'll worship together I didn't want to I did anyways but that teaching in my heart it it helped me to see and then I saw the Lord and uh that just revived me so greatly and I got to trust what I'm seeing and uh, that teaching it's just it helped so much and I pray that the whole body can understand how the Lord really speaks to us, that he is speaking to us. And um, How can we be in relationship with somebody who doesn't speak to us? Yeah. I mean, even if a person has a physical disability, there's still a way to communicate. God is communicating with us every day, longing, longing for us to enter in deeper with him. Okay. You ready to get wrecked? Yeah. <laughs> good the holy spirit has a word for you when you pray for soul chantel i want you to pray with me with me i don't want you just speaking words i want you to pray with me says the holy spirit to you just receive We're going to harvest in prayer together. The heart of the spirit is touching your heart right now for souls. The way the Holy Spirit hungers for souls to come to Jesus is being imparted in you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. This is a very holy, holy moment. He wants you to touch the nations with him in prayer. 
And okay. breathe on her vocal cords, Lord, and on the vocal cords of her heart as she groans and cries with you in Jesus' name. Amen. Wow, we. What do you feel happening? Well, I thought I needed, like, I came for deliverance. <laughs> I had, a, a, yeah, just seeing a lot of things. But I feel like he's just saying, forget all that. Like, stop. Don't get so Don't caught get up so all deep. that. Yeah. yeah, there's, there's, this is my purpose. Like, this is what, focus here. Focus here. Like, Amen. don't get distracted from all that. So I praise God, because that's what I needed, focus. Amen. You're going to see things, Chantel, that are not holy. That was in the word two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. yeah. Seek the Lord. What are you showing me, Lord? Because you're going to pray with him. Amen. It's totally different to just pray speaking words like you're talking to the air compared to praying with God in his presence. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Okay, I messed up on the controls here, so I'm all over the place. <laughs> It's just a just huh? one question. While you were praying, you said um, the Holy Spirit is giving you the desire that Jesus has for souls. I want to write the that. The Holy Spirit's mission to bring people to Christ. He draws people to Christ. Okay. No matter who they are, he will woo them. He will draw them no matter who, what they're doing. That's his mission. Amen. His mission is for people to come to the Lord while there is still daylight. In every generation, there is a remnant of people chosen by the Holy Spirit to pray with him for souls, to join his mission on the earth. Now, we can all say, well, you know, I pray for souls. That's not what I'm talking about. This is different. This is a divine mission with the Holy Spirit on the battlefield for souls. High level intercession. Okay, thank you. When you pray, Chantel, lives are going to be changed. Amen. You may never meet these people on the earth, but you will meet them in heaven mm. because you're willing. You're going to see some stuff just like the Holy Spirit has to see some stuff. It's not attacking you. He's just showing you what other people are experiencing. Mm. Ah. Thanks. Thank um, I would like to pray for my sister against addiction. Um, just that God touches her. Well, he's moving. Fire. Come out of this family. I'm tired of you. You don't belong here. Out family. Out. Out. Blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. What's your sister's first name? Joanna. Anna. God. Remember Joanna. Yep. Jesus. That's fire of God moving through her, moving through her belly. Let your blood flow in these wounds, Lord, that opened the doors of addiction. Cut out the trauma. Thank you, Father. Father, bring her to the meeting. In, oh, Jesus' name. She has a spirit leaving her head right now. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Bless Caroline, Lord. Bless her indeed. Strengthen her, Lord. Praise God. Praise God. We stand in faith with you, Caroline. I believe the spirit has left your sister. Amen. 
Thank you so much for coming. God bless you. <laughs> Next, look how much better she looks, everyone. Yes, I stayed with the camera on just to show you and testify of the Lord's goodness. So you remember half of my face was all bruised up three weeks full three weeks, it's all gone. And the doctors told me six months. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yeah. Praise God for healing you. Amen. 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 I testify of his goodness before everyone in Jesus name. Amen. Yeah, I'm good. I've got um, testimony, testimonies. My mom had a really bad fall and she's a lot better. Praise and work. Yeah. Praise the Lord. And also um, works very peaceful. Hallelujah. <laughs> Nothing short short of a miracle. Short of a miracle there. Uh-huh. Yeah, my niece had a, a beautiful baby girl. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Yeah. yeah, and also my visions are, are much clearer. The communication with the Lord is becoming much clearer. Hallelujah. Yeah. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you for testifying. So her mom had a fall. She needed prayer. We prayed. Jesus answered. He's here for us. Amen. Amen. You, you definitely gleaned from the last Bible study because I sense your relationship with him is much stronger. And good to see you, Georgina. Thank yeah, you for good testifying. Thank you. Yeah, God bless. God bless you. you. And my granddaughter was in hospital, but praise God, she's been out. Uh, she's out now, but she was there 10 days. So whatever yes. the Lord wants to so, do. You wrote me and asked me to pray for your granddaughter. What was she in the hospital for? Yes, yeah, she she's 10 months old. She had what they diagnosed uh, RSV virus. So her lungs were affected. She wasn't getting any breath, air through her lungs. She was on oxygen all the time until yesterday. They took it off and she's been released. Thank Praise you, God. Jesus. Yes, thank you for your prayers. Thank you so much, Jesus. He's so thank faithful. You. Okay, yeah, ready? Amen. Yes. amen. Father, break through everything in your way in Charmaine. Just go right through it. Take it down, Lord. That's exactly what he's doing. Shaking your <laughs> foundations. Just let him have his way. Fire, Lord. Bring her out, Lord. Bring her out, Lord. Bring her out of the hard places, Lord. Lift her up out of the miry clay. Everything holding her from being released into your love. Overtake it, Father. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you for your presence, your power, and your love. What'd you just feel happen? Amen. Yeah, I just felt tingles going right through my body amen thank he's you there. lord he's breaking through you you've been hurt a lot he's amen. healing yeah. he's healing you I, re I receive it teaching you to trust him again i'm gonna say this because this is very important he trusted his personal love to your heart amen now, we could absolutely hurt him, do whatever. But in that, he wants you to trust his love so he can break through all. Amen? Does that witness to your spirit? Yeah. Amen. Thank He's you. He's going to have his way, and you're going to let him. That's the Amen. prophetic word over you. Amen. It's a scene. God bless you, sis. Thank you. God bless you. You're welcome. Anne, how are you? Grace I have a testimony. Hello. I have a testimony and I have, uh, I need some prayers as well. The okay. testimony is you, you have been praying for my brother who met in an accident. Yeah. And uh, the last time you prayed for me, you told me that I have to speak to him because God has done something great. I tried to contact him. He didn't want to talk because the next day was his operation. He was nervous. He didn't tell me anything. But right after the operation, five days only, he is moving. God has healed, healed him tremendously. Now, All what, praise what, to what him. did he have to have surgery for? I don't know. <laughs> this is the procedure. He wasn't but God lying, has right? healed him. Jesus. God has healed him completely. 
completely, the bones were shattered and he's able to move now. And he has operated, I believe the operation has not done anything good to him, but God has healed him before. Oh that. my Jesus, my Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God for all Glory his goodness. Glory to God. Thank is anything Jesus. hard Thank for Jesus you. in? No, nothing is hard. Nothing, nothing. is hard. And I heard, Pastor Peggy, when I heard him, heard that the accident took place. And when I prayed right after that, telephone call with my brother i heard god very very clearly everything is taken care and i believed that that word that word that i heard i believe so strongly until today he has healed my brother and that word is real it is what i heard that's from the holy spirit he's great he's great he's voice. the best he is great hallelujah what would you like from jesus? i thank jesus for that he is so great. Just put everybody's trust on him. Amen. The devil will come. The devil came to me and said, no, it's a lie. But I said, no, Jesus told me he has healed him. And that's it. It's so important to hear the voice of the Lord. Either yes. You're hearing it audibly or you're hearing it from your heart as you read the word of the Lord. What the Lord says is true. He will speak to us just like the word said today especially in times of trial and tribulation when there's so much turmoil a serious car accident yet that gentle voice spoke yes it will all be okay hallelujah we are Praise rejoicing the Praise the Lord. Bones and he's walking in five days praise the lord for you sister Yes, I do. I have the same. I have one um, prayer request that is also for him. I have two other brothers living near him and they are not looking into him. It's something that's blocking them from visiting him or taking care of his brother, our brother who is sick. Okay. I think uh, there is something that is blocking my two other brothers. Okay, let's go. I want you to pray. The power of God is on you right now. Pray for them. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I ask my brother Chris and Bernard to take care of the of my other brother Paul while he, they are nearer to them. Lord Jesus, I want you to take away all the barriers that are blocking these two brothers of mine to go to the other brother to give give him some give him a hand. Lord Jesus, I believe that you will do it, and I ask you in the, I ask all this in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 It's done. Let the word go forth in power, accomplishing what it's set forth to do. Wow, this Thank changed you, your Jesus. life. You are hearing from God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. My prayer, actually, I'm just going to let God take over the prayer request because I really feel that I'm, that's what I'm supposed to do. Um, um, and just because all the glory belongs to him and he wins anyway, so. Amen. I'll just uh, take Amen. over. Father, have your way to Jacqueline. Overtake all, Lord. Overtake all. Just receive. Thank you, Lord. That's his power moving through you. That's his love moving through you. That's his wisdom moving through you. Answering the questions of your heart. Praise God. Praise God. You feel his presence? Yes. Yeah. He's going to have a chat with you later. Awesome. He wants you to talk to him, and it's going to be amazing. Make sure you write it down. Amen. Amen. Well, I'm excited for you. God bless you. Thank God you for bless. everything, for everything, for all your encouragement, your support. Much love. Thank you. Uh, emotional restoration over my general family, because there's a lot of emotional pain in both sides of my family. Okay. Yeah, and that was mentioned today. You know, the estrangement between families, the Holy Spirit doesn't want that. He wants to heal our families. Amen. Just Amen. receive, Linda. Yes. Father, move in through our families. Move in through the aunt. 
Is your aunt saved? No. Father, Holy Spirit, move in her. We ask for a divine connection, Lord. Encounter the aunt's father before it's too late. Let's all pray. This is the ministry of the Holy Spirit, his mission on the earth. We want to pray for this unsaved aunt of Linda. We want to pray for all our unsaved family. Holy Spirit, move. Let us pray with you. Let us partner with you for souls. Father, we call down every available holy angel from heaven to minister in your harvest field to the lost. Go to Linda's aunt. Touch her. Touch her. Touch our family members, Lord. We are praying for their salvation. Father, break through all the estrangement in this family. Finding the enemy everywhere he operates, everywhere our hardness gets in the way of your love. Miracles, Lord. We release a miracle into this family in Jesus' mighty name. Amen? Amen. Thank you. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Please, Linda, be healed. Be healed of everywhere you were despised and rejected. Be healed. That's God Amen. moving in you right now. You feel his presence? Yeah. In my right chest. Here, across yeah. your chest. That's right. Yeah. He's moving on you. I'm going to leave you with him because he is going to heal and minister to you. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. Glory yeah. to God. Glory to God. Deeper in our healing and deliverance, a just supporting prayer. <laughs> Amen. Let's go. Amen. Deeper, Holy Spirit. Yeah. Father, break through everything in your way. She is giving you permission. She's going to trust you. A new start. A new day. The old is gone. The new is new. The new is now in Ethel. She wants to work with you. And in order to do that, she has to know the past has nothing on her anymore. You grafted her into a new supernatural life where she is accepted, loved, treasured, and she's going forward in the power and the grace with God. Every hurt, everything that held her back in the past, be released from her now in the name of Jesus. What do you feel happening? Not really happening, but some peace. <laughs> peace. It's happening. Amen. It's happening. The spirit is moving in you. We have a habit. May I talk to you? Yes. We have a habit. We still remember the hurts of our past. And we actually kind of find, it's not a comfort. I don't know what it is that we'll go back there and we'll think about it. And we'll say, Lord, we're so thankful for all that you have done. The Lord only lets that memory remain because He's going to use it to minister to others. But when we let that root pull us back in, oh, you're never, oh, you won't, oh, I shouldn't, how can I trust it? No. Mm. That has to go. Fire on those roots. Amen. God is bringing you forward into a new place, Ethel, a new place, a new place of ministry with him, with him. Um, with him amen um, remember your past is to glorify god because that's what he's gonna do mm. i know it may sound strange because everything is peaceful and happy right now but it's not gonna stay like that and god is gonna have people coming to each one of us for ministry amen, amen. You watch and see what you went through is going to set other people free, Ethel, because you are free. Amen. Amen.
That was so from God. Amen. Jesus, we give you all the glory. Did that minister to your spirit? Oh, yes. Amen. Amen. Okay. That's how you know it's him. Amen. Amen. Praise uh, Jesus. Praise it's like, like It's going like, oh. like, like uh, liquid through my <laughs> inner man. <laughs> Hallelujah. Okay, I have testimony and prayer requests. Should I just Amen? Let's it? go. Okay. So my testimony is that um last or two weeks ago I was here um because I had an imminent move to another country <laughs> and uh for missions and I was going back and forth, back and forth. And uh, uh you prayed for me and I, what I believe the Lord set me free from was doubt, I believe. And almost immediately I had the peace to move forward and to do it and Jesus. um he gave me a five dollar plane ticket <laughs> five well, that's the lord ticket. be my travel agent holy spirit <laughs> while we praise and, god um, and i i was amazed because i mean he's already moving like even on the plane he moved to deliver the people that sat next to me on the plane and i'm kind of jet lagged but whenever i go i do go out he's moving and I'm just amazed. So <laughs> now, now, you know, everybody here is dear to my heart, but I had to check in my spirit. I could just, there was something that wasn't right. Mm -hmm. I couldn't put my finger on it. Mm -hmm. And I knew that the Lord was moving. So it was the doubt thing. And mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit wanted to deal with you. And I kept pressing in for two weeks. I'm like, God, what do you got for Ashley? <laughs> Nothing. That's not like me. God has always given me something. Nothing. <laughs> but he took care of it with you. Yes. And gave yes. you peace gave and a five dollar plane ticket yes, to the five dollar plane ticket. Yes. What do you yes. want to say to Jesus? Thank you, Jesus. So I how just, can I pray for you today? Okay, my uh, my prayer request is for focus. That's what he uh, he told me to ask you to pray for focus. Okay. Um. Yeah. Wisdom. Ready? I want wisdom, direction, but the Lord told me to say no, focus. He's ready. You ready? I'm ready. <laughs> Wow, he's opening focus up in you. You can feel it going up both sides of your rib cage on the inside. At least that's what I see. Focus, be open. For too long, the enemy has used this distraction against you. Like a wave back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Overtake this for good, Holy Spirit. She will see with my eyes, says the Spirit of the Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. He's cleaning out your mind. He's taking out the trash. That's what I call it. That's what it looks like in the spirit realm. Taking out the trash. Hallelujah. It's a new day, a new season for you, Ashley. He's with you. Be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. And he honors your faith. It took faith to do that, young lady. Amen. He honors your faith. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. That's his love moving in you right now. Praise God. Good to see you, sis. Keep me in the loop. What's going on in ministry? I will. God Amen. bless you. Much love. God Thank you. you. Adrian, how are you? Hi. Um, getting better each day. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Randy, how are That's you? No problem. I'm doing good. I was getting on the call late. I didn't get back into town until a little later than I thought. Well, I so figured you were at church. Okay, yeah. you ready? Okay, Adrian, what would you like from Jesus? Uh, I just thought, uh, as the Holy Spirit leads you, as Amen. Jesus Christ leads Randy, you. pray for Adrian. I sense yeah, you, you have something from God. Yeah, you got some pain in your body, Adrian. Yeah, in my yeah. legs and it's an unnatural pain too go ahead Randy. yeah Thanks. give you praise lord they can completely move his legs pain-free now in jesus name move your body thank you lord. you just feel a release on your leg uh, a little bit yeah out of yeah. the fluids move your body hurry up thank you lord. Thank you, Father. We give you all the glory in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, take your pain with you. Uh, 
You, I'm talking to you. I bind you to the pit in the name of Jesus. I cancel all your sorcery over his life. Fall. To the pit, escorted. Dump him there in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we give you all the glory. Thank you, Jesus. Move your body now. And we pray for his finances, Father. Bless him in David. Jesus, 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 Jesus. You have a new job now, Adrian? Not yet, no. So I'm applying for jobs. Yeah. Okay. We are praying to that too. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Lord. I just want to say something about fluids. Yep. The Lord, the Lord told me to fast. So I've been on a 48 hour water fast and he said fluid. Because when we fast, then the there's something that changes in the fluid. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I saw it go in Jesus' name. Amen. What do you Amen. want to say to Jesus, Adrian? I want to say thank you. I want to say thank you. And we want to thank you for his new job, Lord. Thank you. Thank you for all you've done in his life. It's time for you to praise the Lord, Adrian. Thank you. Praise him I in do. Jesus' name. Oh, I know you do. I know all you day. do. Keep praising. Much love to you. Good to see you. God bless you, Adrian. God bless you. Thank you. Daniel, how are you? Hey Peggy, I'm uh I'm hanging in there and um I'm uh you know I'm getting there. He's he's, wow. he's, he's, he's working awesome. on my heart. He's been working on my heart the past week because uh prior to that it was really really tough, but he's trying to get me to just really trust him. It's been hard. Oh hallelujah. That's what it's all about. Oh yeah. <laughs> what it's all about. If we can't trust him, he's gonna trust us. Yeah. Oh yeah. Now God himself is trusting you with his love. You could abuse it, do anything you want, but you're not. You believe and you love him. Now he wants you to let him love you. That's what he just told me. Um... Even if it's just an extra inch today. Ready? Yep. I love watching the Holy Spirit just breeze through those hard, thick walls. Removing the hardness. Removing those lies. Thank you, Jesus. What do you feel happening, Daniel? It's weird. It's like... Um... It's like my face wants to like, there's this tension and pain in my face when you're praying against that. And just like, it wants to just distort it. So it's, I, I can't even really describe it. It's, it's, it's just bizarre. breathe in, let it out. We release destruction on destruction. Let him go. Isn't that right, Randy? Amen. Daniel, have you had uh, headaches in the last uh, little while? Uh, yeah, like really bad migraines. Right in the top of your head? Yeah. You have one right now? Yeah, it's like pressure. It, it, start, it just started with uh, prayer, though, like pressure in my head. Yeah, yeah. Lord, we just take authority over that right now. We thank you, Lord, for your fire being on that. And we thank you, Lord, that that thing is being removed. Thank you, Lord. Angels are on assignment right now, performing your word over Daniel. We thank you, Lord, for freedom. Every bit of headache, pain, every affliction, infirmity, leaving his body now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. I command you out. What are you feeling now? Just like pain and twisting and pressure and stuff moving around in my face and my head. Courtroom open, Lord. Every twisting serpent out in Jesus' name. 
all of them. We destroy you under the covenant of heaven. Holy Spirit, you're amazing. Thank you, God. Thank you, Father. Out of his face. Praise God forevermore. Praise you, Jesus. Hey, you know, that thing was like an octopus. Mm -hmm. It was like, like an yeah, octopus on his head. Like, you saw like it, it, Randy? Yeah. Hallelujah, well, Randy. Yeah. Hallelujah. Every tentacle. Out, off those nerves in Jesus' name. That's what he felt, Randy, the screwing. Yeah. 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 Praise God. Beautiful light. Thank you, Lord. Fill Daniel afresh and anew. Seal his healing and deliverance in Jesus' name. Hi, Daniel. <laughs> How are you? Uh, I mean, I'm feeling it happen. It's like, um, it just feels like twisting and, 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 and just pressure and pain Jesus in my head. Jesus has it, and it's got a home now, but it's not going to be your temple. I can tell you that. Amen. Email me Amen. later. Let me know how you're doing. All right, we'll do. Thank you, Peggy. Thank Praise you. Praise Jesus Randy. forever. Yeah, yeah. Amen. I missed the timing. <laughs> what would you like from Jesus? Uh, Peggy, today is the 19th, and yesterday was the 19th here. My birthday and Vincent's birthday. A blessing on us, Peggy. Oh, hallelujah. I didn't know it was your birthday. Let's all pray. Father, bless their year with more of you. Bring them closer together as mom and son. Thank you, Lord. You, 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 God. Thank you. Be their bread. Be their drink. Be their breath, Lord. Be their time. Be everything to them. May they only look to you for the truth. And may their year be blessed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Happy Thank birthday. You. Thank you. Hi. Hello. Hi. What would you like from Jesus? Um, can I give a little bit of a testimony first? Testimonies are always welcome. They belong okay. to Jesus. Okay. So Dan, who you just prayed for, is a very dear friend of mine. Okay. And Dan and I have been battling in the complex chronic disease trenches for a very long time. All right. And Dan introduced me to you. Okay. Um, it's a really big deal that I'm even sitting here with the camera on and able to ask for prayer. There's a stronghold that even prevents me from asking for prayer. Um, I've been Ready? sick for, I've been sick Let's for four go. years. No, 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 no. Let's just <laughs> let Jesus go. Fire of God. Let your love be released against all. Wow. Breaking her free, Father. Cutting all of this out of her brain, her soul. All psychic ops, Lord. All occult witchcraft. Everything she believed of the lies. Free your mind, Lord. Thank you for the crown of thorns setting her free. Heather, do you feel the presence of God? Yes. Yes, I feel both. You I've feel been both. in, Amen. Yeah, I've been in, I've been in a long time. It's a war. I got gotcha. you. I yeah, got gotcha. you. Thank you, Jesus. Encourage there's, your daughter. She's breaking right now. Yep. Comfort her, Lord. I don't know who's got the back pain, but I've had enough of it. Come out in Jesus' name. I have the back pain. Yeah. Fire. I have to go. Yeah. Fire. Just receive. Just receive. I know I have an appointment with you, but thank you, Jesus, for what you're doing. I want this cage off of her being. This is a temple of God, devil. Receive judgment and wrath. Move your back around, Heather. That's why I'm stretching because I'm in so much pain constantly. Yes, don't talk. Just move your back. 
We put all that pain on the devil in Jesus' name. All right, come back up. Get back around. Fire, Lord. Fire. Thank you, Father. Any occult or new age with you? When Definitely. You were I don't know historically in my family, but I know that it's old. There's, it's in the bloodline. Yeah, I see it. Fire, Father, yeah. in the forehead. Remove the images, Lord. She doesn't want anything to do with it. Take your curses back to where you came from and stay there for eternity in the pit. In Jesus' name. All secret societies and religion as well. Shackles off the feet. Are you looking, Randy? Yes. What are you seeing? I see stuff leaving her lower back and hips right now. Randy, that's right. That's right. Oh, we want everyone to see spiritually what the Lord is doing. Amen. Fire in the belly. Fire in the belly. You devil. Come out. All of you. All the strong bound. Ecclesiastes, move out. <laughs> You're canceled. I'm going to prophetically speak over you that the enemy is going to regret what he did to you. <laughs> You're going to minister, girl. Thank you, Father. You forgive everyone, Heather? I'm trying to. Yeah, I, you, don't. you need help, okay? There's a lot to forgive. I understand. Just say, Jesus... Jesus, I need you to help me to forgive. I need you to help me to forgive. I want you to take care of these people. I want you to take care of these people. Everything I remember and everything I don't remember. Everything I remember and everything I don't remember. I forgive all who betrayed me. I forgive all who betrayed me. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. Now I want all these weapons to come out of her. In Jesus' name. Out of her back. Out of her muscles and her nerves. Everywhere you tormented her. In Jesus' name. Okay, that noise I just made was the Lord moving up her spine. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. <laughs> What's the pain? One to ten. Um, it's less than it was before you prayed. It's hard to give it a number. It's, it's, hot. It a number. it's hot. It's hot. It's hot. Listen. God's got you. I just had surgery recently to remove hernia mesh, toxic pharmacia that was in my body for 12 years. Yeah. And there's a lot of nerve damage. Okay, okay, I don't want to hear it. Here's what yeah. I want you to say. Are you ready? I'm ready. My life, my life has been redeemed from destruction. Has been redeemed from destruction. In Jesus' name. Girl, Jesus. what God just started in you, He is going to finish. He always finishes. Amen. Okay. Amen. Yeah. And amen. And Daniel, don't forget. Lord, I want to pray for people to be set free while I'm waiting. Let's go. Amen. Much Amen. love to you both. Thank you. You're very welcome. We'll see you soon. Nice to yeah. meet you, by the way. You too. Thanks for coming. God bless yeah. you both. Thanks, Peggy. Joffrey and Sylvia from Trinidad and Tobago. <laughs> Hi, Peggy. Hello, Peggy. How, How are you? you? Good to see you. Get no wonder you must be sending me some sunshine in Chicago, huh? Well, <laughs> what would you like from Jesus? Well, it's me. Um, first, I want to thank him for his loving kindness. And I just want to have more, like, more intimacy, a time, and, um, yeah, more into his presence and more focus. Yeah. yeah. How's your foot? God in God is, is very well. <laughs> Your foot is well? In him it's healed. <laughs> Amen. Jesus, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. More of God. Go ahead, Randy. 
Thank you, Lord, that in the early mornings that she's going to be seeking and finding you. We just thank you, Lord, that your that your uh, uh, your word is being performed over right now to draw it close. We give you praise and glory for what you're doing on her behalf. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Father, take her deeper in you. You have broken through the hardest parts. Now comes the good parts. Amen. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. Thank you both for coming. Okay, okay. Hi, Zola. How are you? Hi, Pastor Peggy. Hi, everyone. I'm good. I'm good. I just have a quick testimony. Uh, two testimonies, actually. Uh, <laughs> my mom is doing so much better uh with her cough because it was bad it was it's like she was coughing foam like it was really bad and foam is not natural mm -hmm. it's not and for so many months so she's really been suffering and god is really setting her free my brother's out of the hospital Praise um, Jesus. in the bible and taking Jesus. turns to pray before they sleep so like the Holy Spirit has just moved in and stayed with them. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. So it went from a prayer for your family because they were sick and now the Holy Spirit has moved in, healed them, and he's staying. And he's staying. What a great testimony. Thank you for healing the mother. The brother is out of the hospital. This was the enemy really working in their lungs. This was a miracle. We give God all the glory. Yeah, I'm good. Praise the Lord. Let me take a look at you. Praise God. Praise God. Look at Praise the improvement. Oh, my Praise. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Okay. What would you like from Jesus? More, Lord. More, Lord. More, Lord. More, Lord. More, Lord. Father, there is no curse stronger than you. Oh. Come out of her curse and <coughs> everyone who sent this curse, bow your knee to my master, loosed, be loosed from your affliction in Jesus' mighty name. Be loosed from her. Be loosed from her. Darkness, I'm talking to you. Come out in Jesus' name. I mean, I mean, Sutram, Sutram, Sutram. Everything about you come off of her in Jesus' name. We take your black magic and your voodoo right back to the pit. Lose her. Holy Spirit, thank you for flowing through her, healing her from every affliction in the name of Jesus. Jesus, we speak Jesus into her. Jesus upon her. Let's knee into a room for prayer, Lenile. Jesus into her lungs. Jesus. We give you all the glory for this beautiful woman. We pray for the child. Is she sick? Yes. Fire. In Jesus' name. Come out of the kid. Yeah. Fire in the belly. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Overtaking all. It's lifting out of her right now. All spirits of death off this family in the name of Jesus Christ. You're defeated. Thank you, Lord. All infection out. Yes. Nowadays, I feel better. <laughs> mommy. Sutram, Sutram, Mommy. Hallelujah. You're from India, yeah, right? Hallelujah. Yeah, Victoria from India. We give God all the glory. What do you want to say to Jesus? Thank you. He loves you, Victoria. And we yeah. thank you for healing her child in Jesus' name. Good to see you. God bless thank you. you. I was, I've got grown up Catholic and I've got a Catholic Bible in the house. I just wanted to know if it's okay to keep or not. Maybe you could pray for that. 
If you do want it out, he will let you know, but I don't see a problem with it. Plus, it has the Apocrypha. Thank you very much. In case you ever want to read Tobit and Maccabees, amen? Absolutely. Amen. Good amen. to see you. God bless you. Thank you for you coming. Yeah. I'm good. How are you, nice. Pastor Baby? I'm well by God's grace. What would you like from Jesus? Um, I have one testimony I just want to do quickly. Uh, last, uh, last, in last meeting, I had request that I was not able to forgive my mother-in-law. So as soon as you prayed for me, my heart was changed. And I started praying for, for, for them and I forgave them. And I oh. praise God and thank you, Jesus, for it. This is a miracle. This yeah. is church, people. No more anger for them and oh. i was fighting i was fighting with them from from many months like from eight months and i it was inside my heart was hurting me and when you prayed for me it's gone it's gone oh glory <laughs> to god glory to Thank god you. now you Thank know you. when we confess our sins one to another we are healed yeah so things that you were praying for are gonna fall into place very yes. nicely and I know yeah. that you know what I mean. So what do you want to say to Jesus? I want to say, Jesus, thank you for everything. And thank you, Pastor Peggy, that God has sent you uh, for us. And uh, he listened prayers. And uh, I bless you. I bless you. <laughs> thank you, Jesus. And I believe that he has sent you for your husband and your mother-in-law. Be a bright thank light. Thank Be you, there Jesus. for them. Thank Show you. them what love is from God. Thank you. He's irresistible. Thank you for testifying. I want to grow spiritually and uh, I want to pray for my, I want to increase my prayer life more. Amen. Amen. Let's everyone pray. Oh, waves of glory. Waves of glory. Oh, Jesus. Waves of glory. Oh, Lord. That's the Holy Spirit. Waves. Oh, of Jesus. Glory. Thank you, Jesus. Overtake her, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Overtake her, Lord, for you. Be that light in her family. Be that light in her community. May her life never be the same again as encountering her in pure power. Pure power, Lord. Father, you know my prayer right now for her. Thank you for answering it all. Thank you for fire, Lord. Oh, Jesus. Fire. fire. The Holy Spirit's baptizing you in fire. Thank you, Jesus. That is his winnowing pork. Oh, my. Thank you, Lord. I know it's hot. He's got you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. What did that feel like? Oh, it's like amazing feeling. I can't even explain. I, I never had this kind of experience before. Like my whole body was shivering and I felt like, like I felt like fire inside me and my, I, it was really amazing feeling. I can't even, I'm so happy. That's I'm the so Holy happy. Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank uh -huh. you. There's no one like the Holy Spirit. Your life will never be the same again. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you. Well, we're you. rejoicing with you. I'm rejoicing his work. It's Thank just you. getting started. You're going to be feeling his power for the next couple of days, young lady. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Praise God. Thank Good you, to see you. Thank, Thank you for coming. Hello. What would you like from Jesus? A lot of things. <laughs> Amen. Tons. Um, basically, um, at church today, we were talking about how we want the Lord to be in constant control in, of our lives and not for us to be in constant control. And the thing is, is that I have been praying over and over again about having um, my emotions be controlled by the Holy Spirit, my mind to be the mind of Christ, and my will to be the Father's will instead of my will to be done. And the thing is, is that I, you know, I, and I'm having, I'm dealing with a lot of, um, with a lot of controversy, I guess you can say, in the spiritual realm. And I feel like I'm going down to my flesh state instead of staying up into my spirit state. Does that make sense at all? You ready? Are you driving? I am. He's got you anyway. Just receive, amen. He has a lot for you. Okay. Just breathe in. I just need to relax. Let <laughs> it out. Like my body's constantly tense. 
Yeah, go. Fire, Lord. Overtake all. <laughs> Have your way in her. If you weren't driving, you'd be on the floor right now. That's the Holy Spirit moving through you. Hey, I, I feel so much for you. Trying to tingle, tingle sensation, like a lot Amen. of heat. Amen. Praise the Lord. Have your way. Holy Spirit, you know everything about her. She wants more of you. The Holy Spirit loves those words. Amen. Father, remove the arrows of the enemy from her. Everywhere that they have hit her. We command them out and they're poison in Jesus' name. That's what's been bringing you down. The enemy's been messing with you. Father, overtake all with your living water. It wasn't me. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. I've seen him deliver people driving, so I know he's got you. Thank you, Lord. He's just blessing you. Thank you, Father. Thank oh, my you, goodness. Father. Thank you, Jesus. Shackles off her feet, Lord. She's going forward in you. We give you all the glory. What do you feel happening? A lot of tingling sensation. It's like um, heat. It's a heat in you know how you get cold and you shiver? It's like this hot tingling sensation. Mm -hmm. And it's on yeah. my legs and my my lower extremity. And Do you have um, any any sickness in your body? I just have a um I don't want to say anything because my words have power. Okay, don't say anything. The Lord showed me. Okay? Ready? Thank you, Holy Spirit, for healing her and setting her free. The Holy Spirit wants to be your best friend. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, my God. What an honor. What an honor. What an honor. He's filling you and healing you right now. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. <laughs> What's it feel like? I feel like a rush of um, just a rush. You're right. A rush of living water. Filled with the fire of heaven. <laughs> That's what I saw. What do you want to say to Jesus? What do I want to say to him? I just want to say that I'm, I'm so thankful and so honored, so blessed that he died on the cross for everything that, everything that I'm going through. And it is so powerful that he's coming down to earth in spirit form loving people right now wanting them to connect wanting the relationship with each and every one and that's why there's such a huge turnover right now that's why everything you know like if you yeah the world is like turning upside down because of the fact that the lord is moving the lord is working in people and you know seal it's, 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 it's her healing and her deliverance lord seal her fill her we thank you. We love you. We want to be vessels of honor for you, Holy Spirit, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Were you late to the message because you were at church? Yes. Wait till you hear the message. <laughs> How do I get the Zoom link? Because I had a friend who's on this Zoom call. Her name's Sarah. It's on my website, Jesus it's Today Ministries. Okay. Now, when the when the message goes up, you're gonna fall over, girl. You're gonna fall over. Don't be driving then, because okay. God is gonna speak to you. Amen. So it'll be yeah. on my YouTube channel. That's Peggy P E G G E Golden. Okay. I'm so glad you came, Jennifer. Thank you so very much. JesusTodayMinistries.org. We are here to minister and to pray with you right in the comfort of your own home. If you are seeking counseling, healing, deliverance, financial breakthrough, if you feel that there is a block or you're experiencing hindrance in your blessings, please know that God cares about you and all that concerns you. My name is Peggy Golden. I am a pastor and I have a master's in Christian counseling. God has made a way for people all over the world to receive counsel, healing, and deliverance through the use of technology right in your own homes. 
God heals, saves, and delivers his people every hour of the day. There is no distance for God. If you do not know God, if you are seeking him, or if you have found yourself in a situation that you need help getting out of, please know nothing is too hard for God. Please visit my website at jesustodayministries.org. You can get to know more about me there. Read the testimonials of what others have experienced by contacting this ministry. There is no fee, but you are able to make a donation. For those who are in the States as well as international clients, we can use voice or video chat. Look forward to praying with you and all that God will do.